they move in the prophetic and they say they move in the apostolic, but none of them move in the biblical. Many people are seeing this little photo, this clip, this shot of this pastor who is with his boyfriend. I guess they're now out and people are shocked. Well, the problem is, though, this is something that you that you could expect whenever you've got a group of people or whenever the church is now adopting and accepting a move to where the Bible is not the sole authority. Man can have authority. Man can be inspired. Man can hear from God. Man can give fresh revelation, things like that. Well, then you can expect to see this. And now there are going to be those that say, well, though, Corey, these are not related. Those that are moving who are calling themselves prophets, who are calling themselves apostles, who are calling themselves bishops and so forth. And I mean bishops where they're their own bishop, a small church or uh, just one particular church, and they want to have a name or a title. And they'll, they'll be those that will say that this has nothing to do with this, this affirming of the gay movement and so forth. But yes, it does. Why? Because when you see a severe lack of discernment and a desire to promote yourself and the flesh and your desires, that's what you get. Now, this person that, that we see, I think his name is, uh, if I'm correct, I think it's Justin Jones. Well, if we just kind of go backwards a little bit, we'll find out that this person, Justin Jones, is friends with or I guess in the company of this person named Bishop or Apostle Keith McQueen. Bam. Apostle Keith McQueen, Bishop of the Pilots Global Network and First G Derek Howe McQueen. And we're so excited to come to you at this time to share some things that we believe would be advantageous for you to know as our followers, as those that are members of our movement and our global network that has been called to do this journey called Life With Us in whichever context that would be most befitting. Now, when I watch these little videos, it bothers me because I don't want to see someone just turn my stomach. I'm not, I'm not used to it. I'll never be used to it. It. forgive me well no don't forgive me this is just how it is and the bible is clear as a matter of fact let's just put it on the screen let's let's go over this quickly the bible says paul says that he god is going to give these people over to their depraved mind these folks who have exchanged the natural function for what is unnatural they'll take what god has created and they'll distort it they'll uh they'll mistreat it they will do all sort of degrading things because of this burning lust in their bodies, this unnatural lust, as the Bible calls it. But then we drop down. The Bible says that God is going to deal with these people and goes through a list of these things that are in some of these folks. People who are wicked, greed, full of greed, envy, full of uh, evil, full of murder, strife, deceit, malice. They are gossip, slanders, haters of God, insolent, arrogant, boastful, inventors of evil, disobedient parents, without understanding, untrustworthy, unloving, merciful. Now, look what he says. And although they know the ordinances of God... And that those who practice such things are worthy of death. Now, here it is. They not only do the same, but also give hearty approval to those who practice. And that's what we see with this guy, Justin, and his first boy, first guy, what have you. Same thing with this guy, apostle. Uh, word to the wise, if you want to call yourself apostle, this is the league that you're putting yourself in. Because you think that this over here, just because it's separate, listen... A separate something that's as false and egregious as this, there is a connection. And how is the connection? How how do you make this connection? Well, because in this particular movement where you've got all these folks that want to be apostles and all these people that want to be prophets and so forth, there is a severe one lack of discernment, and then two a desire to want to promote yourself, to want to be about yourself. Hey fam, Apostle Keeper Queen here, Bishop of the Pilots Global Network. This year, I really sensed a divine assignment to empower people to begin to move in prophetic destiny. And the Bible says this, as a matter of fact, going to uh, 2 Corinthians eleven thirteen, he says, for such men are false apostles. What are they? Deceitful workers disguising themselves as apostles of Christ. And no wonder for even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. There are going to be those people who will look the part, say the part, but the way you'll know the telltale um, sign that they're not is how they depart from the scriptures. You know, the Bible says not to exceed from what is written. And you'll see this over and over again. These folks who want to have this apostolic succession or prophetic succession, and they're nothing but they want to claim signs that are nothing like what we see in the Bible. And then you've got people that want to uh, support them, make sure no one calls out what they're doing as unbiblical. Well, again, I won't deal with them right now. God will deal with them ultimately. But how does this how does this relate? How do these prophets, these apostles, these bishops relate? Well, not just this person, Bishop Apostle McQueen, but 
look and see who actually, uh, I don't know, ordained them, uh, anointed them, what have you. I don't know what, I don't know what this service is, what you call these things, They're this unbiblical service, but look who we see. Take this off. When I take this sweatshirt off, God told me to give it to you. He said in one year you won't know yourself. Get ready to take you up into a realm. I'm getting ready to take you up into a realm. And it won't be you. And it won't be you. You're going up as you, but you're not coming back hey, as you. Huh? Somebody give God a shout. I said, give God a shout. I said, give God a shout. I said, give God a shout. And so you see a winding to bind them. And there's other people that are interrelated in this and in other sorts like this, because this isn't new. These things that are happening and you've got folks that will turn the other uh, the other way, look the other way and not say anything. Hey, it's not affecting me. And I'm certainly not going to let it affect my money. And so therefore, I'll be quiet. But the Bible is clear. Jesus makes a statement. and Peter reiterates this. He says, but false prophets also arose among the people, just as there will also be false teachers among you who secretly introduced destructive heresies, you know, such as uh, it's OK for a man to be with a man, but also these other things where they're claiming to hear from God and speaking for God. These things that will ultimately lead people who are not saved, who are considering it uh, away because they have a false view. They'll place ultimately place their faith in a Christ that's not like the one in the Bible. And notice how he equates false prophets and false teachers the same. So these very same people don't have the ability to teach, which is why they move away from the text. And so when someone wants to say, Corey or anyone else, do not mention these people. Well, one, tell Paul that, tell Peter that, tell Jesus that. But then two, ask yourself, why are you defending the things that ultimately lead to what we're seeing here? Mm -hmm.